Hello there. Um, one thing I recently realized is I actually still have um, my very first survival world lying around, which this is, that's what this is. Uh, so I decided to do a little tour video. Um, this actually wasn't the very first survival world, really. Um, there was a few that I made before this one, but uh, this is the first one to last more than 10 minutes. So it, it's got that. But, uh, yeah, this was, uh, started way back in, like, 1.2, that or 1.1, I forget which, but, uh, that's around when I got the game, um, I'd been watching the game on YouTube for, like, years before that, but that's when I finally got it for myself, but, yeah, this is where it started up here on this hill, it used to be a more natural hill, but, uh, at the time, I thought it'd be nice to do this to the hill. Personally, I don't think this would be a good idea. Well, not now, at least. But back then, I did. So I did it. You know, it happens. But yeah, this is the little wood hut that I started making on the uh, very first night. Didn't really get around to finishing it till like, a, like, very much later on. What's burning? don't think anything's supposed to be burning around here. Like, there's a chimney over there, but I doubt you'd be able to hear that from here anyways. Yeah, so I needed something to do during the first night, so I dug down. Just went straight down. And, uh, found a neat little cave down here. And this is pretty much what I made into my home. And this is the reason why I never got around to finishing the hut up there for the longest time. Because I lived down here. But, uh, yeah, a little sugarcane farm here. There's a little lake of water up there that I made to get this cool dripping effect. I liked it. And uh, over here I have a melon farm. This melon farm is was pretty much my primary source of food for the entire time. Never ate anything else, really. Up here in the hollow space, when I filled in over the mountain, I made a really, really crappy mob farm. But, you know... It's it's something. Um, this is here. Don't ask why. I wouldn't remember. I believe I had cows or mushrooms over here. I don't know. But I had a. It was most likely cows. I don't think I was. I had the know-how to get mushrooms to different places back then. But here I had a mushroom farm. Never used it. I just made it because there was no reason not to. Really. But, uh, yeah, I had a little door here to just go out into the world. Kind of nice. It's Bob the Scarecrow. He scares the crows, and his name is Bob. Yes, when... I, I planted this here when jungle trees were first becoming a thing. It was pretty cool at the time. And, um... I forget what's over here. I think it might have been chickens. But obviously a lot of those mobs are gone now because there's a version update which deleted all entities when you updated a world. And I loaded this world in that update. Well, actually, I think what it was is um, it wasn't that specific update, but there was an update like at one point where it would convert it properly. Otherwise, they would have been deleted, and I never loaded this world in that update, and that's why they're gone. That's most likely it. I'm pretty sure that's it. I got a little pond here. And uh, this was here, so I decided to open it up a bit, light things up. I, I liked it. But this is uh, where the tree farm was. I grew trees here. Wasn't my primary wood supply for reasons, which should be pretty obvious. It's quite small. But uh, I grew other things here. Never really used that as a food supply. Another portal over there. But uh, over here is the main house. Um, back then, this is pretty much the limit of what I could do with redstone, in survival at least. Yeah, it's not much, but you know, it's something. Um, as you see here, this hallway is quite long, so I had a minecart going back and forth for you to ride. This was the, uh, sitting area. This is also the bed here. Oh, yes. Bathroom. 
because why not? Furnace room in here. I actually used to have furnaces like in the center here too, and it was extremely claustrophobic. Kind of annoying to use to an extent. Um, I believe I had iron and iron and an iron. Ooh, English, please work. I had an iron golem there. But uh, this is a uh, storage room. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the main storage room. Um, yes, that, that that's what's burning this time. But, uh, yes, oak leaves. Apparently not a thing anymore. Well, these oak leaves, at least. You know, it happens. But, uh... Yeah, we keep going down here at that fireplace. You saw the chimney up above. Also, when anvils were first added to the game, I made this room because, you know, anvils are really cool at the time. And so I made a room for the anvil that was pretty much entirely iron. I had a lot of iron, apparently. <laughs> and um, I also had this room here for potion brewing. Never used it. And I also had more storage down here for, like, more bulk storage. Yes, I used diamond ore to mark off the minerals chest. Things as I remember having more diamonds than that, and um, I'll explain why later. But uh, yeah, more stuff down here. And uh, down here, I'm pretty sure was a spider grinder. Yeah, you can hear the spiders now. There just happened to be a spawner here. Oh. Oh yeah, <laughs> because that changed. Back in the day, this would actually stop the spiders from getting through. It doesn't anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah. It happens. Anyways. The enchanting room in here. Back in the day, when there was no lapis involved, lapis had no use in the game. And enchanting took 50 levels every single time, used up all of them. Those were the days. And in here's a little secret storage room. And a secret exit. It goes back up to the surface. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I suppose I can show you the mine now. And uh, one thing that'll probably be interesting right off the bat is um, I gave a tour to a friend of mine once and he said that he had never met anyone else who ever used minecart rails for a mine before. And there's now a cat on the back of my chair. Stop scratching the chair. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is how I get up and down. It was a late installation. Because uh, at first I would just wander the mines aimlessly, and just if I found stuff, I'd take it. But after a while, I started going back to the same ravine over and over again, and so um, I made this minecart trail to it, or rail, not a trail. It's a trail of rails, I suppose. But uh, yeah, it's not the safest journey, but you know, I'm pretty sure I never died on the journey, so it got the job done. But, uh, yeah, this is the ravine here. It's pretty cool. And down here is where I spent probably an unhealthy amount of my early years because I spent a lot of time mining here. I'll go into spectator mode in a second to show you. Um, yeah, let's... I went a pretty long way. And this is why I remember having more diamonds than uh, you saw up there, because you would think that uh, one would collect many diamonds mining that far. But uh, I suppose I probably used them all for various things. I don't think I ever fought the Ender Dragon in this world, though. Don't think I ever got around to that. But, uh, yeah, nice painting here. Make the place a bit more homely. I wonder if there's anything... Ah, there is stuff here. It's a map. 
What is this a map of? Oh. Nice. Anyways, I suppose we can take the minecart up now, though. Woo! Um. Yeah, I'll probably turn that down a bit. Um, yeah, a lot of the friends that I play with now, though, um, they started playing the game like, I think 1.7 is the earliest any of them have started playing. And so I'm literally the guy, like the old man in the back of the room who always starts all of his sentences with, back in my day. <laughs> I love telling them stories of how back in my day, <laughs> enchanting wasn't really worth it. <laughs> uh, I didn't really mean to start that with back in my day just then, it sort of happened. <laughs> it did works. But uh, yeah, I was going to creative mode just to save time because the next things to be shown are not really close by. But, uh, yeah, another thing that uh, I actually miss from back in the day is how um, you could put efficiency on a pick, like efficiency 5 on a pick, and it would work on all things. Like, you could use it to replace your shovel and your axe. Like, that was amazing. I, I almost, like, I was seriously debating whether or not I actually wanted to update when they changed that. <laughs> Obviously, I was going to have to update eventually, but, you know, at the time, I had other priorities. It is a little boat that I built. It's kind of in very shallow water. Wouldn't really be able to go very far, but I had a boat. I like to come out here and spend a bit of time. Oh, there's a fishing rod here. What's in here? Ah, just a bit of food and trees. But also, over here, I had a little outpost where I got all my sand. I didn't need as much sand as I got, but I got a lot of sand here. You can see the hole. Yeah, this is um, the very first time I put efficiency on a shovel. I just wanted to mine, like, dig up a bunch of sand. So I got a lot of sand. More sand than I would probably ever need at the time, because I was never much of a builder. So, you know, sand wasn't really something I needed. But this is the outpost. And, uh, yeah. That's it. This is uh, my very first world. I spent a lot of time in this world. Ooh, what's over here? I built a marker. There's obviously something interesting here. D oh, okay. Keeps going. Oh, I see. I must have intended to explore this at some point, but never got around to it. Oh, well. Explore it now together. Lava. Alright. Well, at this point I'm just wandering, so I guess I'll end the video here because uh, I showed all there is to be seen. <laughs>